Hey everybody, it's Dana. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I don't know about you, but I really have a hard time making masculine cards. So I'm going to watercolor one today for you. I'm going to use some watercolor paper in this background stamp. What I like about using background stamps is that if it's not too feminine, you can easily make it look like a masculine card without having to have like a whole bunch of uh, added elements. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my background stamp. This is a background stamp by Hero Arts. And it comes like with a little plastic cover on the top. It just kind of gives you a design. And I'm going to grab my Versamark. Now again, I make a lot of cards for female friends of mine or kid cards or, you know, gender, I shouldn't say gender specific cards, but a lot of them are more girly. So I needed a nice masculine card for one of my best friends. So the easiest way I find is to place the paper straight down on the background stamp instead of vice versa. This way I can actually add some even pressure all the way around to make sure that I get good coverage. I find that if I do it in a reverse way and I try to press down, once I pull up, I notice that I have some spots that didn't um, get the impression very well. So I'm just gonna rub this a little bit more, make sure I have it all. All right, and I have it. You're not gonna be able to see because it's clear ink right now, but once I pour the, pour the embossing powder on it, you'll be able to see it. I'm going to use um, some of the wild embossing powder. It, actually is my favorite embossing powder it's opaque white and i really really like the brightness of it so i'm just going to go ahead and dump some of it onto my card front it's this right here it's the opaque white i really need to just buy it in a larger container and then just store it so i'm just going to make sure i can evenly get that all across that panel let me not forget the bottom and I really should have used a bigger piece of paper, but we're just, I'm just gonna go ahead and heat emboss this off camera so I can kind of clean up my mess a little bit. All right, here we go. So you can see that that design, it's peeking out just a little bit, but we're gonna add some color to it and that's what's gonna make the design kind of pop. So I'm going to grab some of my Distress inks, uh, Mermaid Laguna, and this is Cracked Pistachio and wild honey. I love this color combination together. It's masculine, but it can also be a little bit feminine as well. So I'm just going to um, stamp the pad right onto the Ken Oliver craft mat. Remember I told you guys about this in the review. I absolutely love, love, love this craft mat. I'm just going to go ahead and stamp the ink directly onto it. I'm just gonna not make them too close, kind of spread them out just a little bit. And that is what's going to build our color palette for the front of the card. So I'm going to now just add some water, just some normal water to the colors. And that's going to get everything to kind of like blend for me. So I'm just going to squirt, make them all wet, nice and juicy. Next, I'm just going to grab the cardstock and I'm just going to run it through. Smush it down, get some really great color going onto the back of my card. So as you can see, I'm getting some really pretty mix of color on the card. Now you could do this by um, using your blending tool and doing your layers of color, but this way you kind of get like a mix of color. Now I kind of like that effect instead of just concentrating, you know, the color on one area. I actually end up getting several colors out of this. What I need to do at this point is kind of clean up my craft mat because it's kind of getting a little bit dirty. Just need to try to keep things clean. I'm just going to also soak up some of the extra ink. And I'm just going to go ahead and dry this. I really need this to be dry in order for me to go on to my next set of colors. So as you can see, just blow drying it, I mean, um, drying with my heat gun. I'm going to move the color around just a tad bit, and I'm just going to dab off some of the areas that are extra wet. All right, so that's what the back of the panel looks like. But I'm not done. I want to add a little bit more blue. I didn't have enough blue in there. It kind of got mixed in too much. So again, I'm just going to take the ink, smush it down on my craft mat, wet the ink down some 
and I'm going to drag my car back through it again. This way I can get heavy spots of blue. You see that? Really pretty, right? So I'm just going to dab off some of the areas, dry them off just a tad bit. That looks good. And I need some on the corners, some more blue on the corners where I, I might be missing some of that color. And I'm just going to pick it up and kind of move it around on my car just a little bit. So I have, you know, a little bit of that blue everywhere. See that? I really like the splashes of blue. All right, so let me go ahead and clean it one more time. Get that clean and pretty. And I'm just going to pat off any of the excess moisture that I have. All right, isn't that nice? Really super easy to do. Now I'm going to concentrate some of the yellow right onto the center of the card. I'm going to go ahead and grab my blending tool. And this is going to help me kind of get a semi-perfect circle in the middle of my panel. So I'm just going to rub very lightly in a circular motion because that's going to be the spot where I really want to have the depth of color in the spot where I'm going to actually place something. So it's kind of like a, a spotlight directly to the center of the card. What I'm going to do next is I need a sentiment. So I need to make sure the area is first clean and I want to bring back some of the whiteness of the embossing powder because sometimes when you uh, put ink over it kind of dulls it down now I want to put a sentiment in I'm going to use my um, machine here to cut out my friend sentiment and this is my um, die cutting machine my Sizzix die cutting machine which I love 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 and the friend sentiment here I believe is from paper smooches so I'm just going to go ahead and pop this out and as you can see it's not together the words not together so I'm going to show you see it's kind of separated perfect so I'm just slide that off let me go ahead and get rid of my scissors and move it out of the way because we don't need it and now I'm going to grab all my pieces to my friend sentiment just need to pop out some of the areas that stuck line those up I have a few tiny pieces I can't seem to get out so I'm gonna have to go ahead and grab my stick for this and then the end of my sticker um, be able to get out those tiny tiny pieces right there all right all right now let's go ahead and start assembling the card so what I want to do is actually cut this panel down just a tad bit because I want to go ahead and match it on black so I'm just going to take just a smidget off the bottom and I'm not quite sure if I'm going to need it on the side. Let me see. Um, I think I'm going to be okay. I don't think I'm going to need to cut that. I think we're going to be good. And look how pretty, or masculine, I should say. I shouldn't say pretty. Well, it's kind of pretty, too. Look how nice. That's a, that's a good word, nice. Look how nice that looks on the black. So we're going to go ahead and trim down the black just a little bit because we're actually going to mount the panel onto a white card base because I always make white card bases for my card it's easier to um, go ahead and write your sentiment in the inside so I'm going to grab my gun and we're going to go ahead and start assembling the card so as you can see it was a very simple card to do and what's so cool about this technique is you can use any colors you want colors that blend nicely together that aren't going to turn to like a mud color so this is a very easy technique and I'm just going to actually want most of the top and the sides to have the black border. That looks great. Now all we have to do is pop, up, um, pop on our sentiment here right in the middle. Remember I told you I made that little focal point right in the center so it kind of grounds my um, die perfect. All right, I'm going to go ahead and grab some um, multi matte medium. I wanted to use my glossy accents that I have with the little skinny adapter on the top, but for some reason it's clogged. I need to figure out how, what I did wrong because I obviously stored it wrong and it will not um, squirt out anymore. So I'm probably going to have to run it under some hot water and get it to um, unclog itself again. So I'm just going to use my fingers here and just use some multi matte medium. 
So I'm going to go ahead and start with the first part of the friend sentiment. Let me grab just a little bit more of the uh, matte medium. And this is a little messy. I have to say it is a little messy. But I, after this is all said and done, it's going to dry clear. So I'm not going to see a lot of the, um, the glue residue left from behind. Or left behind, rather. Just going to stick that down slide it into place very good all right now let's grab the end in the d to finish up this card like i said it would have probably been easier actually if i die cut this and maybe have ran it through um, one of my xyron machines but you know we just got to keep it moving when we're making videos just pop that last one down put it into place nice nice all right that's where I want it I think we're good a little bit of karate chop there and we're good let me go ahead and grab um, a baby wipe to clean off my fingers because now they have glue all over them and I don't want to touch anything and make it stick to me and let me go ahead and clean off my mat as well now I can go ahead and finish putting a card together here's a cute little close-up I really love how this card came out um, I do believe my friend's going to like it. And he's going to be really surprised because I don't send him a lot of cards. But he's been on my mind lately and I love him dearly. So I just wanted to remind him of our friendship. And I think guys like getting cards in the mail too, don't you think? I think so. Alrighty, let's go ahead and put this right down on the white card base. And we are finished. Finished. A very cute card. I hope you guys liked the little tutorial I gave for you today. Make sure to try it on your own. Let me know how it works out for you. I'll see you guys soon. Go forth and be crafty. Bye-bye. Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. Make sure to subscribe and also follow me on all my social media outlets. I love hearing your comments and I like seeing your thumbs up. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.